Hey, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California. We're going to do another breakdown here today on Johnny Unitas. We've got a couple guys that, that uh, in the past have said to uh, to do Johnny Unitas. It's kind of tough because the level uh, or the quality of video back then is a little bit um, different than how it is today. So, you know, the, being able to get good stuff now is, is, is tougher. But I think we'll be able to get some good stuff from here. Um, and we'll go ahead and just start out the, the breakdown. So, Johnny Unitas, um, there's some things that he does that are that are very good, that are very uh, transferable to, you know, the current game. And then there's also some things that he he um, does that, that just wouldn't, right? So, one of the big things that, that he does is he, he definitely drops that ball, right? So, you can see he has the ball up in a good place here, um, you know, right kind of at the numbers. And then as he starts his throwing motion, he definitely drops it down. Um, as, as he initiates. And then from there, what he does do really well is he loads onto that back leg. I mean, you can see how much weight here is on um, that back leg. And, and, you know, he's kind of, you can tell he's kind of torquing it up there with that, that right leg, right? He's not like, you know, just letting all of his weight just shift on that side. It's like he's loading onto his right leg, but he's also almost letting his right knee kind of come forward and kind of twist and, and be able to endure some of the, the weight like that. And then from there, he really goes and gets a lot of verticality in the push off. So notice how he, when he pushes off, how he, he makes it so it raises his body upwards as he's going through. And then he goes from that upward motion to then a, like a lateral motion. So now he's shifting his weight forward onto that front leg. And notice how nice and stable that front leg is. I mean, there's a slight knee bend going on here. And, you know, his, his whole torso and knee and everything is all very well aligned as he's coming forward which is exactly what you want to do as you're you know transitioning forward from in, in the throw another big thing is i mean overall shoulder range of motion he must have been a great pitcher as well i don't know if you ever if you ever pitched but look at how much external rotation he gets in that shoulder i mean the ball is right here and he has that elbow high his spine looks like it's in a very good position but he's getting that ball way back behind him, almost like that, you know, like, like what we saw with, with Josh Allen and when Josh Allen threw. Um, I don't know if he had the, had the same, you know, overall strength and velocity, but he definitely, for his time, was one of the better throwers. Um, or I, I guess in his time, he was the best thrower out then, uh, in terms of, you know, just of overall effectiveness. So um, anyway, going, going into watching um his his mechanics the next thing that that stands out to me is how he uses his front arm so notice how his front arm he lets it kind of extend out first and then from there he goes into the he goes into turning that hand to the side or you know kind of twist that arm and then pulls that elbow straight back okay so we'll do it one more time he goes he starts out kind of straining that arm out in front of him and because uh, usually i i would would not really um, recommend this, but you can see how he does it well. Because usually, when, when guys go and they pull that arm away and they straighten it out like that, they usually let it get way out in front of them, um, and they, it makes it so they open open up the shoulder too early. For him, he just kind of lets it get out in front, and then he does a great job of pulling that elbow straight back as he's bringing that arm forward, and that really helps him get like this really strong uh, release as it's coming through, and and really helps generate a lot of force and power in the in the throw. Here's another good one where you can really see some external rotation here. So, again, notice how when he loads onto his back leg, how he almost, like, pivots his leg inside as he does it. I think that's a very interesting move because then when he pushes up, it makes it so he gets a really good force off that big toe. And that's something that, that with a lot of guys that struggle with is getting good push off that back, that, that back big toe as they're coming forward. And you could maybe take some information for how he's loading back there. Um, and, and twisting his legs, so then when he pushes back, now he's got a lot of force and a lot of ability to get rotation within that that front hip. Now the um, the the big thing though to, to take into consideration or to kind of um, counter that is that one of the things that helps him out a ton is this external rotation. So so yeah, he's able to get a lot of rotation in the hip there. But notice what as he's rotating the hip, how that ball is able to get so far back behind him, and then he uses this snap that he also generates with that front arm to really pull that back arm through and and deliver the throw uh, right right on the money and, and really gets a, a good amount of uh, pronation of, of the wrist and also snap of the elbow. And that's what, you know, is, is really, really a high level, what makes his throw really high level, especially for, you know, when, when he was playing. It's very, very effective mechanics for, for that time, undoubtedly.
Okay, last throw on this one is just to really show like the the release point of it. So we're looking at the front. Um, again, notice how how he uses that that arm, and also notice how he uses that front hip. So he goes and he he detaches uh, the arm. He lets that arm get out in front of him a little bit, and then as he pulls back, he pulls back with that elbow. And also notice how the the weight is going upward, how his body's going upward. So he's going he's pulling, pushing himself off the back back leg, letting his body rise up and he's pulling back with that elbow and using the the force of that front elbow to really drive through with the back elbow and he's also making it so that hip look at how that hips opening up hips already open here and you can see that disassociation right so his hips are facing over in this direction while his shoulder is facing more right towards us right towards the camera so he's already twisting there and then watches a continual twist See that? See how his hips keeps on twisting, keeps on twisting, keeps on twisting. Even as he goes through the throw, it's still already tw all, all the way twisting through. And so he's very stable on that front leg as he, he's um, going through the throw. I mean, you could even look at, at him from this far away. I mean, look at how big of a, of a lower body he has. He's using so much of his lower body to create force. And, I mean, he, he really had to because look at... Um, how he's built right he's not built where he has a, a tremendous amount of upper body strength now he has upper body strength it's not like he doesn't but he he's getting a ton out of the lower body and you can just tell by how his dimensions are in, in his overall um you know where he has a lot of strength and where he doesn't with his anatomy and you can see that he's had to, he has to get a lot out of the lower body and that's you know really in order to to, to succeed and to succeed long term as a quarterback you've got to be able to create force out of the lower body that is so so crucial you got to be able to create ground force you got to be able to create force out of the lower body and you got to be able to do a great job of sinking your lower body with your upper body as you're going through the throw in order to maximize your overall potential as always guys Thanks for watching these videos. I hope this connects with you. I think there's a lot of great information within this video that you can definitely utilize as a quarterback. Somebody trying to get a little bit more throwing velocity, a little bit more throwing power. Going back to one of the greats and Johnny Unitas and learning some stuff about how there's some things that are just transcendent about how you can throw the football. If you're interested to learn a little bit more, check out our blueprint to the perfect throw. We have some great information in there. It's free. Download it. Awesome information. Only got good feedback so far. Also, check out our three-month online throw program if you're a guy you're struggling to get get um good information and you know really trying to to uh, sync up what we're talking about within these videos really trying to bring it to life within your throw the three-month program is for you something that we can really personalize in ensuring that you're going to be able to um maximize your overall potential as a as a quarterback and also implement some of these very very important strategies to help you achieve your goals all right, guys, as always, thanks for, for uh, watching the videos, and we will talk to you soon. Performance out this morning.